I guess we just put it like that. Adams built a hydrogen fuel cell. I see bubbles. And the team has got hold of the internet's best-selling gas-saving devices. Super efficient carburetor, my So now, they're all set to all head right. to the dynamometer test facility. For a point of comparison, using a set amount of fuel, they'll calculate the miles per gallon of each car. First, at 35 miles an hour. 17 miles per gallon. Okay. And then at a highway average, 55 miles an hour. That is a lot more fuel efficient in its main gear at 55. We're getting uh, 25 and a half miles per gallon. With the baselines for the carburetor car caged, bring on the first miracle cure, the magnets. Okay, so it says to put it as close as we can to the carburetor. Okay, magnet test, here we go. According to the box, the magnets work on the principles of hydrodynamics and align the fuel molecules in such a way that they burn better. But what does that mean? We asked our graphics guy to explain it, but he didn't understand it either. So it's a mystery how they work. But have they had any effect at 55 miles an hour? The baseline reading at 55 is 25.66. I come out with 25.55. Okay. No change. No change at 55. And at 35, it's the same story. Well, what does that tell us? It busts this whole magnet fuel electromagnetics thing wide open, man. It's crap. It's strike one for the gas conspiracy theory. So the next test is acetone mixed with gasoline. What we have to do is put about a 500 to 1 ratio in here, which amounts to 2 milliliters of acetone in with the gasoline. The idea is that the acetone somehow makes the gas burn more completely. But does it work at 35 miles an hour? Well, it uses up fuel a little faster which gives us miles per gallon of 16.65 with acetone, as opposed to 17.03 without acetone. So acetone makes the car less efficient, a result confirmed with the 55 mile an hour test. Next up, the miracle carburetor. I'm gonna get behind the wheel. This latest device can supposedly increase mileage to 300 miles per gallon. But Adam's out of gas even before he's reached the baseline level. 17.69 miles to the gallon. It's a lot less than 25 and a half miles to the gallon. I don't see any potential for 100 or 200 or 300 miles per gallon out of this thing. Darn. <laughs> Farmyard chemicals can be downright dangerous. They can hinder your health in a whole host of ways.